from now 634. And thanks to your help, this morning Metro Police say they found the vehicle believed to be involved in a deadly hit and run incident. There's still no word this morning of the driver has been located. Here are the details. Metro Police say the driver hit 11 year old Kyson Beatty while he was riding a small motorcycle. The crash happened around 430 Saturday afternoon, this near Wicker Road and Tibbs Avenue. Now, police tell us that tips from you, tips from the community, led investigators to the vehicle involved in the crash. Beatty was a sixth grader and an athlete at Perry Meridian Middle School. And this morning we are joined via FaceTime by his dad, Carl Beatty. Carl, thank you for joining us this morning on Good Morning Indiana. First of all, from all of us here at WRTV, our condolences to you and your family. How is the family doing this morning? Um, family's not doing, um, too well. I mean, obviously, um, I checked in on his mom a little yesterday and, um, as she should be, she's devastated. Um, her words to me were that she was empty, um, and his sisters are in pain and Pat Paul, just his, his whole family. So, um. Yeah, it's not, not real good right now. Carl, you made a plea to the public yesterday asking them to help you find the driver of that vehicle. Overnight, Metro Police around midnight tweeted that they had actually found the vehicle. What do you say to all the people that are, right now, that are with you, that are embracing you at this, at this moment, not only mourning with you, but also wanting to find that driver? Um, man, the outpour of, uh, the outpour of support and uh willingness to find help for our son um has been been overwhelming you know it's kind of hard to even get on social media and look for stuff because um boom you see something about your son and you kind of never think stuff like that is going to be um your family but it is so all the justice for kyson photos i mean i, I see them all all the support for his mom uh, sisters, I see it all, but it's just been amazing. And his Perry Meridian teammates and their families um, have been amazing to him as well. And as well as um, his old Decatur Hawk family, they've been graceful. Uh, Carl, we, Carl, we don't know yet if police have found the person. They found the vehicle. We don't know if they found the driver of that vehicle. <clears throat> what would you tell that person this morning uh, if they're still <clears throat> out and about, if they, if, they have, if they have not turned themselves in this morning? And you know the heat is on. Unfortunately for you, you you hit the wrong child. So um, right now you're on the clock, man. So see you in court soon, I, I guess. It's, I mean, it's not really the justice I feel, but, I mean, the law enforcement is doing their work, and they're doing a good job. In your pain, I would imagine that you find some comfort at this point in the memories of your amazing young man who was 11 years old, the sixth grader. Just your thoughts this morning about this young soul that brought so much to you, uh, and family and friends. Um, there's, there's really no um, amount of comfort, comfort right now, um, especially when you have pictures and videos. Um, I mean, it's hard. I'll have it'll be normal, and then I have a, a shutdown moment. But um, he was a great kid. Um, like I tell everybody, he was a mama's boy, and that's who everyone should be wrapping their arms around and calling and checking on his uh, his mother because she's not going to be okay for a long time. So I can handle me. I'm a big boy, so. Um, I appreciate everybody, though. I mean, I honestly appreciate every single person. And Mr. Beatty, uh, he could be a mama's boy, but he also loved his dad. So we thank you. The community stands with you, and we'll continue to follow the story until the very end. Our, again, our condolences to you and your family. I appreciate it. Thank you.